Now, normally this would be the point where I'd say something like, Hello folks and welcome to your next semi-exciting episode of such and such uh, project. But what I'm going to show you today probably has implications for quite a few projects, both ones that I'm presently working on and ones that I will be working on in the future. And that is, believe it or not, the humble Toyota Prius Gen 2 uh, inverter converter module. Now, you might say, well, geez, Damien, you know, you're a bit behind the times there. You know, these things were going around 10 plus years ago. Well, yes, that is true. And I tend to, you know, get there a bit late than never. So... Let's go have a look and we will talk through uh, some of what we're going to try and do some experiments and uh, see if maybe this might just work for us. Alrighty, so what we have here is a Gen 2 uh, Prius inverter module uh, that I got from my local scrapyard. In fact, I got two of them. Uh, for the princely sum of a hundred euros each and bought them because I wanted to investigate a future project uh, that I'll be working on using the Prius trans axle but um, something was just niggling at my brain and I decided to have a little bit of a play with this thing and uh, I think that this could be a very u useful uh, piece of kit for a number of different uh, projects. So, what's actually in here, in very brief, is uh, in this part here we have a big uh, liquid cooled in dot in doctor uh, connected to uh, in here. I don't know if we're able to see this too well, but in here is a 1200 volt 400 amp. Uh, half bridge intelligent power module uh, and these two guys here give us a 20 kilowatt capable buck boost converter underneath the whole thing is a 200 volt to 12 volt DC to DC converter and up here on the top we have two uh, three phase AC inverters uh, one of them I believe connects here is for what they call MG2 in the Prius that actually drives the wheels and the one over here is for MG1 that's the uh, generator. Now the implications of having this equipment available uh, at a very cheap price um, is I think quite extraordinary because number one this converter here can form the heart of a uh, battery charger be that AC to DC or DC to DC obviously the DC DC converter um, in the, the base here can be used as is uh, it's no it's not very difficult to control it. Uh, you just give it some uh, simple 12 volt signals and the thing turns on. There's no can control or anything like that. The in inverters, uh, I think, possibly lend themselves to more than one application. The most obvious would be that we drive AC motors with them or one AC motor. Um, it may be possible to parallel them to get more power as well. This will be something that I'll be investigating. Now, another application um, that comes up from the RED E36 project that I'm working on is to use 
the MG2 inverter to drive a DC motor. Now you might initially think well that's not going to be possible because it's designed to drive an AC motor. Well it is but I have a sneaky suspicion that we can get it to run a DC motor so we will try to do that because if that actually worked out for us um, in this package you would have an entire power electronics module uh, for doing DC conversions and indeed quite possibly AC. Now what I've got set up here, let me just zoom back a bit, is I've got a power supply at the minute here giving us about 14 volts which is uh, supplying power to the logic. Another power supply uh, just over here that's giving us 12 volts that's being connected onto the um, inverter uh, bus and we're testing the buck feature of the converter here. So I've got a little 12 volt lamp and we have 12 volts going in. And if I turn on the PWM signal now, if I can find where it is on my crappy computer and we turn on, we're on. So right now we are bucking the 12 volts DC down to about 9 volts and as I vary the PWM we can you know pretty much we've got ourselves a fancy lamp dimmer here so right now we're running at about 50% PWM and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the meter here, but we got about 6 volts uh, coming from our 12 volts. Now, obviously this is just a very basic test uh, with just very, very low power stuff. But I think this is going to lend itself to uh, handling a lot more power than a little filament lamp. So that's one aspect of the converter that we've just uh, done a little basic test on today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I can figure out how to fire some of the um, IGBTs in the inverter and we'll see if we can get some uh, we'll see if we can get some uh, power to run through that inverter for us and see if we can run a little DC motor from it even so May or may not achieve that, but let's uh, do a little bit more investigating and find out. Because if there's one thing about this Prius stuff, is it's probably the most documented and the most available. And there have been a few in that I've done a bit of research on sporadic attempts to use it for a conversion and they just all seem to just peter out somewhere along the way so I'll probably find out the hard way that there's something intrinsic in this that is you know makes it useless but let's go ahead and uh, see if we if we can uh, if we can make something work well it seems we can indeed use a Prius inverter uh, to run a DC motor. Uh, you'll see here, I've got my trusty uh, BMW starter rigged up uh, to our inverter here. So if I give it a little bit of signal, put the analog discovery here, and hopefully here something happens. Now we can speed it up. Slow it down. So at the minute, what we've got is we've got a DC power supply supplying about 15 volts. That's going directly onto the bus here. We're running our starter from one of the phases and ground. 
again on our so DC bus ground on one phase of our inverter at the minute but we will be testing it with all three linked up we're currently putting about 8 volts into our starter and using the analog discovery here to inject the PWM signal onto the uh, gate drive for the first so far I think it's the um, I think it's the W phase um, of our uh, motor inverter. I'm just going to stop that there now. There's no cooling on the thing, but I doubt it'll cause a problem. But I'll just shut it off anyway. It's making too much noise. So, uh, bit of working out on the signals. This is the MSDN signal motor shutdown that's got to be pulled up to 12 volts and there is actually three uh, gate drive signals here rather than six but I'll get into that in another video I don't want to get into too much uh, techie stuff on this particular episode uh, we'll give all the details about how to do this um, so I guess yeah we've uh, We've got ourselves a power conversion module here uh, that can be used for charging. We've got an in. We got two inverters. Uh, they can be rigged up, hopefully, to let us run. We can most certainly run a DC motor, and I think we'll, you know, certainly be able to run AC as well. And all of this in a little box here that costs a hundred euros and is, uh, you know basically designed to be put in a car so uh, yeah there you have it guys <sighs> okay so I'll leave you guys there for now I just wanted to uh, whet your appetites a little bit about uh, what we're looking to do with this Prius inverter uh, it seems as if there are indeed a lot of things that we can make it do so do stay tuned for more updates on this and other projects uh, we will be definitely using the uh, booster converter in the E36000 Euro charger build and other bits hopefully uh you know fairly soon as well so i'll leave you guys there uh don't forget to like share and subscribe check links in the description for uh, paypal and patreon in case you would like to financially support any of this madness and there'll be a link in there as well for github where you can download all of the the info on my various projects so until next time uh happy Prius inverter hacking. <laughs>